Hey everybody, John if you could here. Welcome and greetings from New Paris, Preble County, Ohio. Uh, we are leaving the beautiful state of Ohio, entering Indiana. Once again, today it is Wednesday, January 23rd, 2019. Local time is 2.11, temperature is 45 degrees. And just like so, welcome to Indiana, the crossroads of America. We are currently traveling on Interstate 70, westerly bound. All right, a little bit of a, kind of a plan, change of plan. Originally, I was gonna take six, uh, 70 to 65, but you know what? By the time I get to Gary, Indiana or Chicago, traffic be all kind of backed up up there. Not to mention, I think most of the weather, uh, winter weather is up north that way. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take 70 all the way to Interstate, um, Interstate 39 and 55. So we're gonna take 70 all the way to Bloomington, Illinois. Take Highway 39 North through Rochelle, Illinois, Rockford, Illinois, and then Beloit, Wisconsin, Janesville, Wisconsin, Madison, Portage, and up to Westfield, Wisconsin. Westfield is 495 miles from here. Roughly eight hours and 23 minutes remaining to drive, so we're gonna have to take a 30 minute break before we can get up there. Right now we've got six hours and five minutes remaining to drive before we need to take a 30 minute mandatory break. Right now we should be crossing into the state of Indiana scales or way station. Whether they're open or closed, I have no idea. But we only have 18,000 pounds of uh, load today. Load of uh, chicken. Fresh dressed chicken. I call it undressed chicken. You know, without their feathers, they're all undressed, right? Uh -huh. Wayne County. This is Richmond, Wayne County, Indiana.
He's playing hard to get. Speed up, slows down, speed up, slows down. Land Star. I used to work for a company called Wampco, W O M P C O, out of Ben Wheeler, Texas. We were a flatbed division, worked there for eight months, and we were leased on to Landstar Ligon out of Madisonville, Kentucky. And that's got to be at least 25 years ago. I doubt it, they still exist. Uh oh, I'm in the wrong lane. I thought I could have him, but. pass will work. Nope, nothing so far. One more chance, one more chance. Yep, we got a pre-pass. I don't know if you guys can see the green light up there. And I don't know if you can hear the the tone giving us the okay to bypass. Back there, did you see that kind of uh, those things all over the freeway? They have sensors that catches that pre-pass over there. I don't know how much the monthly is for the pre-pass, but it is something that you pay to get it. And uh, if you have one, chances are you'll just go by down the freeway but they can randomly pull you in at any time randomly I've heard some drivers back in the day where they were so reliant on the transponder that they don't even bother doing their own logbook anymore because they think that you know, they'll never get pulled in. Okay, the way that works is... Uh, oh, Grace. Knock it off, Grace. The way that works is every truck drive, every trucker and truck driver has somewhat of a scorecard. The higher your score, or the, I think in this case it's the opposite, the lower your score, like a zero, the better you are standing with DOT and uh, so to have that transponder they have to enter your company name and your company's overall score now if you if your company has a really bad rating even if you have that they'll pull you in the low the higher your score is the more chances of you getting pulled in so that only applies if you have a good you know good rating kind of like a credit score 
exactly like a, a credit score. If you have a bad credit, that will tell you to go into the scale. But the better your credit score, chances are you're just going to get weighed down the freeway. Hey everybody, John if you get here. Hello, 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 and good afternoon greetings from uh, Indianapolis, Indiana. Local time here it is 30 308 actually. 37 degrees. Okay, as I mentioned earlier, Grace and I are uh, headed for Westfield. Wisconsin which is 400 and 432 miles roughly seven hours and 22 minutes remaining to drive ever since I left Ohio it has been non-stop raining rain 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 better than snow 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 I'll take it, I'll take it. As I also mentioned earlier that we are going to take Interstate 70, the 74 towards Bloomington Normal. And then we're going to take 39 north. We could take 465 north. But, yeah. Let's just go straight.
Okay, I decided to take 70 west to 74 west, 465 north, and then back on to 74 west. I think I should have taken 70 to 65 north all the way to Lebanon, Indiana and pick up that little side street there I just wanted to try it over here now if I remember correctly this is a left lane exit but it's still 5.4 miles away we are currently traveling on 465 North 74 West local time is uh, 329 35 degrees we are down to 417 miles to Westfield Wisconsin Golly, I was wrong. I thought it would be a left exit. It turns not. I think I was thinking of Interstate 65 out of 465, then it's a left lane exit. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's it, that's it. All right, we just got off of Interstate Bypass 465. We are now on Interstate 74. Let's see what mile marker we're at. We can, then I can tell you how far the state line of Illinois is. Remember folks, if you're running east and west, the mile marker gets smaller as you go west. Like right now we are at mile marker 73, that means we are 73 miles uh, to the Illinois state line. 72 over 8. And so on and so forth. 72 over 6. So if you go west, the smaller the, the mile marker gets smaller go east naturally it gets bigger if you go south it gets smaller if you go north it gets bigger not always not always like the uh, New York uh, Truway it's the opposite it's exactly the opposite so Okay, 411 miles to Westfield, Wisconsin.